Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into creating a dynamic and interactive content carousel using Unity. Whether you're a beginner or looking to enhance your Unity skills, this tutorial will guide you through step by step so you can add engaging content carousels to your projects with ease. Let's get started. First, open a new scene and set the screen size to 1920x1080. Then, go to the hierarchy and add a UI panel to create a background. For the background, I've chosen a crimson red color. Now, come to the canvas and set the scale UI mode to scale with screen size and the reference resolution to 1920x1080. Next, in the hierarchy, add a UI scroll view. You can rename it if you want. Then, set its height to 640 and width to 360. Now go back to the hierarchy and delete the scroll bar of the scroll view. Now, fit the viewport size and uncheck the vertical ball in the scroll view's inspector, making the color completely transparent. Add a UI content carousel script component. There's a warning sign hovering over the layout group, warning in the scroll view's content area. Now in the content, first add a grid layout group, then add a content size fitter and set horizontal to preferred size. Set the content size to 640x360. In the content hierarchy, add a button component. Check in the scene to ensure everything is working correctly. Apply default settings according to the video. Each variable has a tooltip to help you understand its use. In the hierarchy, add two button components and name them pagination buttons for next or previous content. Select both buttons and adjust their properties, size or transformations as needed. Choose a sprite for the buttons, like a triangle, and rotate it by 90 degrees. Change the button colors according to their states. Normal, highlighted, pressed, selected and disabled. Now, go back to the script and assign the buttons to their respective variables. Let's create navigation dots. First, add an empty game object to the hierarchy and name it something like dot underscore container. In the scene view, adjust its size accordingly. In the game objects inspector, add a horizontal layout group component. Now, within the dot underscore container, attach some dot prefabs to it for testing purposes and adjust the horizontal layout as needed. After checking, remove the dot prefabs from the hierarchy. Now go to the main script and assign the variables. If you haven't created dot prefabs yet, you can make some similar to this. Now, duplicate the recently created buttons in the content and apply different sprite images to each of them. Go back to the content and in the grid layout group component, set the constraint to fixed row count and the constraint count to one. Let's test it once. You can see that the content is automatically moving every 2.5 seconds and the navigation dots are updating accordingly. Swiping is also working smoothly as well as the pagination buttons. Now, let's add a 3D rotation effect. 
Let's go back to the content and set the X spacing to the default of 35. With a content width of 640 and spacing of 35, the total page size becomes 675. Now, you can see that our 3D rotation effect is working, and it looks great. Let's explore it a bit further. All right, let's create a script for the pages so that when we click on a page, we are redirected to a website like my YouTube channel. Our script is now ready. Let's attach it to each page, and in the target URL, you can add your preferred URL. Now, when you click on a page, you'll be redirected to the website, confirming that it's working. It took me several days to develop the main script, two more days for video creation and editing, and about a month to launch it on YouTube, because I focused on clean coding. In the future, you can customise this script further, and I'll continue to update it. If you need any modifications, feel free to contact me. Although I initially planned to make this a paid asset, I've decided to offer it for free to save you time. You can find the script in the comments section. For those wondering about the carousel's purpose, it can be used for various applications like level selecting menus, game update indicators, as seen in PUBG BGMI, and many more. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this tutorial helpful in creating your own content carousel. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. You can also request the type of video you'd like to see next, and I'll do my best to create it for you. If you encounter any issues, don't hesitate to ask for assistance. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content like this. Until next time, happy coding and creating!